sorry about yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I was, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't shooting, yeah. Uh, look, the thing is, you said you were coming back, and I, and I was wondering, uh, today? Yeah, yeah, of course you can. Oh, there's a room going in Nelson Street, because their lodger's getting married. You know, he's years younger than her. Oh, I couldn't do it. <laughs> Break all the toy boy's arts if that ever goes public. <laughs> Come on, Jamie, I've got all day. Well, thanks very much for that, Mavis, but I have set my sights a bit higher than a rented room. So if you hear of any luxury accommodation, going for 20 quid a week, give us a shout, eh? <laughs> I'll have these. Please. Please. Can you eat all those? It's me breakfast. It's decided he doesn't like toast. Not one after scrape half a ton of black off yesterday. I had to fly into Lou to throw up. <laughs> Forgotten I'd left it under grill. Was it something you'd eaten? If you don't know that it's morning sickness, you're the only one within a radius of about five miles who don't. Except Mike Baldwin, as far as I can tell, he don't care about nobody but himself, which suits me fine. Yeah, I'd uh, heard a rumour. No rumour, kid. Right, come on, monkey, I'll be late for work. Trisha, you still don't look too brilliant. Don't you think you should be taking it easy? Hey, I can't afford to lose my job. Not now we've two mouths to feed, especially if t'other one eats like he does. <laughs> come on. Well, if you're going to say, talk about brazen... No, oh, but she's... She's very... What, what's the phrase they use nowadays? In your face about it. Now, you must admit. There's another phrase they use in all, Mavis. Whistling in the dark. It's what you do when you're by yourself and scared witless. And if the dad of that baby is who they say it is, she's going to stop that way. Not falling down, I hope. Ah, uh, morning. What, what? No, no, no. I'm, I'm just debating with myself whether it's too late to put up one of them hanging baskets, you know, like where they got over the road. Well, they do add a nice welcoming touch. Ah, mm. now, that's just what I thought. Mm. Mm. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Judy. Yeah, it was till you started. You should be flattered. It's not everyone who gets their own personal judge to ground. Happy birthday to you. Other people have grey-haired old dears and crinkly mothers. I have a raving nutter. Oh, do come in. I see his nibs at number five's got a smile back on his little chops. Must be all on again. Uh, Ma'am, Josie could have come round for oat last night. Pick up a chip pan for all you know. Well, she's mad if she does go back to him, grumpy devil. Give me a bloke who tickles your fancy any time. Now, if you don't like it, you can change it. I, I won't be offended. From my old fella, after a few heavy hints. Oh. Mm. Ta, ma'am. It's lovely. I thought it'd make a change from them jeans you're always wearing. Well, I'll put it on tonight. I got his taking us out. I said, I don't care where, so long as it's a surprise. Well, I hope you're not going on that bike. But it's news to me you've got a licence. Though I wouldn't be happy about you driving it with or without. What are you on about? Who are you yesterday? Come tearing out of that ginnel at umpteen miles an hour with him clung on to you like he was super glued. Carry on like that, young lady, and I shall be singing your next happy birthday down the cemetery. Cheers, darling. Mm -hmm. She's obviously riveted by the passing scene. Yeah, at her age, I would have thought it was a bit on the slow side, too. <laughs> are you really this tolerant? Or is it all an Oscar-worthy performance? To what end? Win me over. Thought I'd already done that. So I've got to keep on playing Mr Nice Guy, have I? Nah. <laughs> you are Mr yeah. Nice Guy. Why don't you just get some pliers and pull me toenails out instead? <laughs> Where's mine? I thought you said you'd been one fella. Changed my mind. Oh, well, you know where the galley is. Doesn't it get on your nerves? That constant... No. It does me. I'm very glad you don't try and smile up to her. Tell her how fab you think Liam Gallagher is. No, well, she wouldn't swallow it anyway. Who is Liam Gallagher? We're <laughs> oh, still glad we came, in spite of problems. What problems?
There you go, love. Sugared and stirred. Oh, I just stand. She finished hoovering up in the back yet, what? Oh, no. She's more important things to do, like conning Vera into buying a nursery load of gear with little bunnies on it. <laughs> How do you get paid extra for doing this? Ah, she slings us a few quid. It'll all go towards me on little bachelor pad one day. <laughs> Surprises me you used to live at home. Well, I've just moved back recently. I, er... Uh, I did ask my girlfriend if she fancied moving in together, like... Mm. But it didn't go down too well. So... How can I, uh, how can I persuade her that moving in with me would be a plus and not a minus? Well, just tell her she'll still be able to do her own thing, you know. Yeah, well, she knows that. I mean, I'm not one of these geezers who wants all the ironing done and his supper on the table. Mm. Maybe she's afraid of ending up trapped like that poor cow, Trisha. Two kids, no bloke, and just a bossy gran who's already decided what kind of buggy she's having and that she's breastfeeding or else. Mm. Now, there's a girl who's not in charge of her own life. This isn't right. I'm here to work, not the way to do. I can cope. I rise to a challenge, me. <sighs> I'm useless. I should have stayed at home. Oh, drive yourself mad staring at four walls, waiting for the phone to ring. I don't know. I was ten when my dad walked out on us. I, I won't leave the house. I, I won't go to school, in case he got in touch. And did he? Not for eight years. He had gone to New Zealand, started a new life. Eight years? We, we found out later. He sold the car, cashed in his insurances. So he knew exactly what he was doing. It, you'll be aware it's, 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 it's not my custom to talk of things as a personal nature, but... Well, I, I just wanted you to know that I can comprehend something of what you're going through. Thank you. And I'm sorry. It must have been awful for you. Why did he do it? Well, I didn't love us. He's got a new wife now, new family. We don't correspond. And your mum? Oh, she found somebody else. She got over it. But you didn't. Eat your beans. You're too thin. Nicky's favourite. Oh, hi, Martin. A uh, pint of bitter, please, Vera. Is there any news? Uh, no, not as yet, but uh, thanks for asking. Well, it's the least we can do. I mean, it affects everybody when a child goes missing. Now, listen, I'm not a religious person, but if you like, I'll slip into Ivy's church and ask her to keep an eye out for her grandson. Mind you, you never know. She might be doing that already, for all we know. Oh, I think I can manage without Ivy's help. Thanks, Vera. Right. Ivy's ghost on the prowl. That's all I need. <laughs> In fact, my mates from the hospital invited me out for a drink today. We should have gone. <laughs> Must admit, they have been brilliant. Yeah, my colleagues are very supportive, and Tracy was ill. Aye. Some of mine have got kids of their own. They haven't found a magic formula. Well, no parent can ever count themselves entirely blameless, real or otherwise. <laughs> well, you never know, Ken, one day we might be having this same conversation about David and Daniel. Yeah, if I'm still around. <laughs> On the other hand, it might be nothing to do with us at all. I mean, who's to know why Tracy talked to drugs or Nick ran off? It could be any one of a hundred different reasons. And again, it could just be sheer teenage bloody-mindedness. Bloody <laughs> I only got a half. Curly's a bit funny about his staff dozing off into the frozen veg. Pate, smoked salmon, avocado and prawn, tremendous. Now, I hope you don't think that after one prawn signing I'm going to be anybody's, because it takes at least two. It's a sort of celebration. Oh, well, I'll buy that. What we're celebrating? Me moving into a place of my own. All right. That's all you can say. All right. What place is this then? I don't know. Not bought it yet. You're going to buy it? Well, it makes more sense than paying rent. I'll have no problem getting a mortgage. Oh no. Well, you wouldn't, would you? The important thing we have to decide is what sort of property. Old with bags of character and woodworm, or modern with a high boredom factor, but decent plumbing. What's all this wee business, eh? But you knocked it on the head when I mentioned that was shacking up together. Maybe it's a bit more brutal than I meant. All right then. So what's the big plan? Like I told you, I buy somewhere and you move in. The important difference is I'll be building something for the future rather than just pouring money down a big hole with nothing to show at the end of it. I.e. you take on a mortgage and I help to pay it off. We'll be together, but it won't be a flat share as such. Oh, I see. I've got it now. You gaffer, me lodger. 
Hey, one whisker left in the sink or one bog seat left up and I'd be history me, wouldn't I? But there'll also be the perks. So what do you say? Well, that depends on your definition of perks. Andy, I need to know. Well, one thing about being a lodger, you only got to give one week's notice, haven't you? Well, it's both ways, that, you know. Oh, yeah. Your dad won't mind, will he? Nah, plenty of time to get used to it anyway, hasn't he? It's not as if I'm going to be moving out tomorrow. Come in, come in, Sorry, kettle's I on. I couldn't get away any earlier. Well, as long as you're here, that's the main thing. Let me get your coat. This is not a social visit, Don. Uh, no, no, of course it's not, no. Is there any news on Nick? Well, no, not as far as I know. <laughs> He'll be all right. He's a survivor, is that lad? Right then, the garage. Uh, What's been going off? Uh, well, it's finished. Uh, it's uh, done with. Bust. I don't believe this. It was ticking over fine before I left. What the hell went wrong? Well, I did everything I could to keep it afloat, Lord, no. What, you never thought of getting in touch with me and letting me know you were having trouble? Well, I was hoping I could sort it. I did everything humanly possible, but I was let down. The bank, the lads... What I... about our money? <sighs> Are you saying we might have lost it all? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Look, I'm sorry, love. But, I mean, we always knew it was a gamble. Oh! Hubba, hubba, hubba. How about I cancel that restaurant and we have an early night instead? <laughs> How about you telling me who you've been giving rights on our bike? And don't bother lying, cos you were seen. It must have been Kev. I, I promised him yonks ago he could try her out. Huh? Been taking hormones, has he? You what? Since when was Kevin Webster my height with a bust? Oh, I'm with you now. What's her name had a go as well? That's what I want to know. What's her name? Only Samantha from the pub. She'd been mithering me for a spin and I wouldn't let her go on a toddy. No, so you had to go with her. Clinging on like a Randy Limpet, by all accounts. Jude, I give a girl a ten-minute ride. What's the big problem? That you kept quiet about it. Which, knowing you, you'd only have done if you had something to hide. I didn't say anything because it went straight out of my head. That's how important it was. Will you stop making something out and out? And if you want whining and dining tonight, you better let me get out of my muck. All right. Right, that's it. All together now, smile. Gorgonzola. Gorgonzola. <laughs> There you go. I'll take one of you two now. Right, we're Becky at the wheel. And you scrubbing the deck. Hi, hi, Captain. Well, at least she hasn't got me walking the plank. <laughs> now, will you take one of me and Dad? Yeah. <clears throat> you can't keep your hands off him, can you? You're really disgusting. Becky, they forgot all about me, Dad. They don't even remember what it looks like. Let me, let me. Get in touch with me. As a partner, they should have contacted me. And they did. At this address. Only you didn't think it was important enough for me to know what was happening to me own money. Look, Josie, there just wasn't time. It all happened so quick. One day it was fine. It wasn't it... fine. It couldn't have been fine. No, no. Did you do this on purpose just to get revenge? I oh, know. On me for walking out on you. You really think I'd pull a stunt like that? Well, you pulled plenty of funny stunts in the past. Oh, thanks very much. Always hit a man when he's down. Look, it was my cash too that went down the pan, you know? I'm sorry, I just don't know what to think. This is just not me sideways, this has. Well, well, maybe it's not too late. Maybe we can do a deal with the bank if we stick together. How? You said it was the end of the road. Well, people buy bankrupt businesses. Not their own. It, that's illegal. Anyway, we what? Well, we could get another loan. We could get another bank. You're in cloud cuckoo land, you are. Well, at least let's talk about it. I mean, we can still be civilised, can't we? Let's have a break. I'll make a spot of tea. Hey, tell me about the job. I mean, how are you getting on with all that? No. 
I think I'd better be going. No, 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 Chelsea, please. Just, just an hour. One hour. That boy from your street, the one that's run away. Nicky Platt. What about him? He must have been dead miserable. Well, they won't know why he did it till he comes back. If he comes back. It'd be terrible for his mum and dad. They don't own you, you know. People can lead their own lives. Lonely, though. Cutting yourself off from everyone. Make new friends. Can't make a new mum and dad. I haven't got a dad. I knew this girl once. Lisa. I don't suppose we could have laughed non-stop, but well, that's the way I remember it. We went to look at this house. The agent gave us the key. We're lacking about in the back garden. This lardy da woman sticks her head over the fence, says, I hope you know this is a quiet neighborhood. Well, Lisa says, I wouldn't worry, love. Our six kids will soon liven it up. Snobby cow nearly had a heart attack. Was this your wife? No. Me and Steph were split up by then. So what happened to this Lisa? She chucked you? She died in a road accident. You know what you were saying? About your mum not being able to remember what your dad looked like? Well, I can't remember what Lisa looked like. Not exactly. But I remember the way we were together. So why are you all over me mum then? Oh, when someone dies, you've got to move on. Forget them, you mean? No. Move on. There's room to love more than one person in your life. Even if your mum does care for someone else, it doesn't mean she stopped loving you. Or your dad. When you've had something good, you never forget it, Becky. Well, the good news is your old mother will not be kipping on the red wreck. Oh, you found a place? Just a little furnished flat. Well, more of a cupboard, really, that I can learn to call at home. Hey, it's not that bad. Plus, the rent's reasonable. And if I stand on a chair, I can see over at the park. Oh, Mum. No, it'll be fine. I mean it. Especially once I painted it all shocking pink. You are not. <laughs> As I recall, when we moved in here, you and Steve were going to paint your room black. Yeah, with a silver ceiling. A lot of water since then. What will I do? Apart from bits of bog roll stuck to your chin. I think without shaving, you men do, you could learn to do it proper. I didn't book table till eight. Do you fancy popping it Robbers for a couple first? So you can say hello to your little biker pal. Oh, you won't let it drop, will you? Even if it means spoiling your own flaming birthday. You don't let anyone ride your bike, so why her? Uh? 
All right, then I'll come clean. She was thinking of buying it. Oh, now I know you're flaming lying. That uppity cow see herself riding something a lot more upmarket than a clapped out old Yamaha. No news. I need a hug. Oh. I've wanted that all day. Yeah. Roy's very sweet, but uh, there are limits. And what about you two? Have you behaved yourselves today? We yeah. went south for... When I beat Grandad off at Crazy Golf, Dave said to go, but he was rubbish. Well, didn't it? <laughs> and what about Grandma Audrey? She went... She went shopping! shopping. <laughs> Mum? So Nick doesn't come back come out of his bedroom. You, for Pete's sake! I've just one thing to say to you, lady. Keep your hands off my husband. What's she on? Jude's still a bit upset over you borrowing the bike the other day. I told her you were thinking of making me an offer. Yeah, and we all know what kind of offer. Find your own fella, you cheeky tart. This one's mine. Some people are chronically possessive. It's usually a sign of deep-rooted insecurity. Or deep-rooted insanity. Hey, I'm surprised you didn't rush over and referee that, Vera. Well, as long as there's no bloodshed, let them get on with it. I have other <laughs> things to think about, eh? Hey, you're taking this seriously, aren't you? Hey, she's right to. I know, she's a right to. Just that it credit to we all that discipline. <laughs> oh, Nicky <laughs> did. Well, she asked me me behind her. I don't want my granddaughter born with hangover. Oh. See, couldn't misbehave myself even if I wanted to. Of all the grannies in all the world, why did my kid have to pick her? <laughs> Josie, love, what can I say? Look, I'm sorry about everything, about the money, about me. I, I was right out of order blaming you about the garage. You were right. I made my own decision. It's too late for post-mortem stuff. No, no, it's not, no. This has taught me a lot as this. I've changed. We can start again. No. But we were good together, Oz. We could be again. I'm sorry, I... Don. There is no us. Just like the garage. It's history. It does seem to show some goodwill on behalf of the landlords, which is in fact the first positive uh, hey. statement so far. Come on. You're worn out. Early night. Nurse Platt's orders. Oh, it's worse. Lying in bed. So right, well, I'll pause and I'll chuck them all of their stock. What? Yes, of course we can. Thank you. What? Uh, what's the police? They've, um, they've got a, a video of someone taking money out of Nicky's account. Well, is it him? They're sending it over for us to, um, go and have a look at tomorrow, but... <sighs> it's got to be him, hasn't it? 